Hey everybody, this is Mark St. Jean from Be Some Games, and I'm going to show you how to build some world chunks. So when you download the package that I send to you, it'll unzip into this folder right here. So just open it up and run the program. This is basically the resource editor, but I've locked off everything but the world chunk builder. So just click on File, Open, navigate to the folder. I put mine on the desktop. Go to Resources, Data Files, and it's the only thing that'll ever list. It's the Nobles Land Project file, so just open it up. Give it a second to load. Here it goes. Okay, so it's right here. So just click on that and it'll open it up. So world chunks are basically just 16 by 16 groups of tiles. And you use them to build massive maps, like really big maps. So I'll go through and just show you the ones I already built so far. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, All right? Uh, regular grass has eight because it's the most so it has eight but all the other ones have four and I've already made them for you so basically what you're gonna want to do is make the same thing see like grass on the left water on the right and it's uh, duplicated four times one two three four so they're the same but they're slightly different and that way it looks a lot less repetitive on the world map so what you're gonna want to do is go through the list and basically find ones one two three four and then find ones that are exactly the same. So here we go, this is the first one. <coughs> so when you go through the list, each one is a category, category, right? So you, uh, grass, need to do ones in grass. Don't need to do water, don't need to do snow. Need to do ones in mountain. Don't need to do caves, need to do roads and forests. So those are all the, the ones that actually need to have work done is grass, mountains, roads, and forest. So you can just ignore the other ones. <coughs> so when you open the category, you list them all. Just go down to the first one that has four that are the, exactly the same. I thought it was this one, right? Yeah, all right. So you don't have to edit the, the one that has no number. Just edit the two, three, and four, right? So go down the list, find it, and then pick the second one. And what you're going to want to do, see, all right, so this turns on the grid so you can see the tiles better. And then these hide the different layers. So if you do that, it'll shut off the bottom layer. And this will shut off the top layer. I don't think you'll need the top layer unless you're placing stumps. But So what you want to do basically is match up where the land line is, right? So you'll notice on this one, it comes in. Let me put that back on. It comes in on this tile. So you need the line to be at the top of that tile and at the left of that tile. So anything in between doesn't matter. It can be a straight line. You can have it curve in, you can have it curve out. The only thing that matters is that the entry and exit point for the land matches up on, on each one. So I'll make one for you here. So we already got one and it kind of points out. So I'll do this one straight across, right? It's easy to place tiles. All you do is you just pick, uh, left click, you know, a tile on the, the side and then drag and hold it to place it around on here. So. The first ones here, these ones all have the border lines. You'll notice like the, there's plain grass, but you're gonna wanna use these ones that, uh, you know, have the trim on it. Just kinda change it up so it's not flat across. Boom. They ain't kinda plain, but you get the idea, right? So, and when you place them, it'll take up the same spot on the map, you put it in the same areas, but they're different, so you won't notice the repetitiveness, it won't be the same thing over and over again. You want to might want, might want to put some more detail into it than that, but you know, that's good enough for now, I'm just showing you what you're doing. So you're going to want to go through every one that has a number and do that for all of them. The grass is the only one where I've already pre-made them, let me show you how to make your own chunks if you have to. So if you decide to work on a category and it doesn't have them, like these ones, right? You just want to right click it in the list and duplicate it. And when you duplicate it, it'll add the name to the end of it. Just pop the number on it and go right in order. Let me just make the, there we go. Let's make this one two, this one three, and change this one to four. See? And then you, that's, that's pretty much all you need to know to be able to do it. Go through the list. Anyone that doesn't have a two, three, and four on it, you can go ahead and make. But if you want to work off the ones that are already there, that's fine too. And then when you're done, the other thing you have to do is just click File, Save, and then send me back the resource file, and I'll show you where that is. Just go in the same folder that you get, you run the program from, from, go into Resources, 
data files and then you're going to want to send me world chunk set right here. It's the only file I need back. So, All right, thanks for watching, and uh, good luck building the world chunks.